Hello everybody and um, welcome back to Phantom of the Opera Hidden Objects. I'm Page of Maces um, and here we are in possibly the last episode, I'm not sure. Um, I've had a bit of trouble recording this as per usual which is just bloody typical of all things but I've swapped um, recording programs. I'm now using Fraps. Yes, I've sold out and I'm using Fraps. What a terrible world we live in. Uh, let's just check that my microphone is indeed on. Yes! Excellent. So, without more ado, we have to go and find ourselves something out in the cold. Near the place where dead men lie. So, another episode of backtracking. I will try to keep it entertaining. Possibly failing at it. Yeah. This is not the first episode I've recorded in Fraps, this is the second. The first one was the Laggy the Dragon boss fight uh, on the aircon server. And I will do a video explaining exactly what I was doing on there and everything. Cause I was at my grandparents for Christmas and wasn't aware they had Wi-Fi until the next day after we'd arrived there and I thought, oh, I might as well edit the video but didn't have my mic on me and my computer inbuilt mic is really really rubbish so what I was planning to do a good full intro as to what was going on but it was Christmas I got lazy I'm very sorry but the video is good and uh, someone else recorded it as well on there uh, so watch his perspective as well there's links in the video description on that video to uh, everyone else's channel who was on there as well. So uh, I'll talk about Minecraft stuff in Minecraft at the moment. Let's focus on this. This incredibly frustrating game that I should have finished you months ago. What, in San Francisco? Oh no, you leave hearts there. How very poetic. Have you considered becoming a poet rather than a creepy stalker? Right, a crevice amongst the rocks, that could be anywhere. Let's abuse the map function once more. And oh, ballroom, auditorium, landing, rooftop, Christine's room and the crypt all want my attention. Isn't that just fun? Right, so... Let's do the auditorium first. There you go, I can finally pay you. One... what does that say? One loon, or one, se oh, one cent. It shouldn't be cent, it should be francs. Unless it's an American thing. This isn't right, I need to separate them. Yes, but how do we do that? Your dad is stuck up there. Oops. Did not want to do that. Uh, did not want to do that. Uh, is that what this is for? Yes, of course it is. Sword! Yes, thank you. And let me guess. Is this how you repay your angel of music? Oh, come on, it's a puppet! Older viewers will get that reference. Older English viewers, I mean. Right, so anyway, let's go back to that crevice among the rocks. Ooh. Don't you just love backtracking? It's so fun, going through places you've been a thousand times. Pawnee Bill, only something west, wild west. Sounds interesting. Not. Doesn't sound interesting at all. Ah. Here we are. Bury it with books, you will find its pink hue. Rap, 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 rap. To the library! Uh, 
Oh. I think I wouldn't forget that's what makes the lift move, but I just did. Random memory blank. How fun. Or as Miranda's mum says, such fun. I watched that on my, on uh, Boxing Day Eve, I think it was, and that was absolutely hilarious. Boxing Day Eve, what the hell am you I talking about? Boxing Day Evening, I mean. Because Boxing Day Eve is Christmas Day, and no one ever refers to it as Boxing Day Eve. Oh dear. Uh, but they, that was that was funny as all hell. If you're wondering what I'm like in the real world, basically imagine Miranda, but but with red, longer red hair and uh, a bit paler. And that's me, more or less. I watched you every night from up here. Ah, box five. I guess I've got to look. But, uh, I can't see much with the naked eye. No oh, opera glasses. Oh, bloody hell! He's so ugly he can break glass. What is that down there? Oh, that looks horrible. Seriously, what is with all the creepy puppets, man? <laughs> Was that supposed to be Meg Geary? I should have a look around here. Yes, that's what you should do after being molested by a creepy puppet. Is have a good look around a place rather than running away screaming in terror. Obviously Christine Jr. doesn't agree with me. That is one massive cockroach. How do they get so big? Ah, oh, a dinner fork. Demon statue. Ah. Ooh, a tiara. Very nice. Nice down there. Signet ring. There are lots of rings around here, but no, I think that one's definitely a signet ring. Shame no one wears them anymore. Well, apart from chavs. But chavs don't really count as people. I have a feeling I'm going to get pilloried for that. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. The number of perfect circles that you have to try and find in this game are really ridiculous. I can see nothing- oh there it is, down there. Immediately contradict myself. That's a nasty ass comb. Looks like a jellyfish. So a jellyfish looking comb and a shoehorn. Uh, not seeing either of them, but you guys at home can see. Where is it? Is it down there? Nope. See, from the way it's there, it looks like it should be on the wall. But I really can't see. I've gone blind! Okay, comb, 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 comb. Where are you? You think the amount of times I've played this game I'd be better at it and be able to see where everything is, but no! Oh, for God's sake, where is it? This is annoying me now. More than it was. Maybe the shoehorn will give me a bit more luck. 
cue horn. That is not very helpful. Can I leave the room and come back? Or am I going to have to get creative? Um, um, really don't want to spend forever staring at this. Cause it's probably incredibly tedious for everyone. Ah, balls. Oh. <sighs> now to find the comb. Hairbrush, that's a bag. Come here, jellyfish looking comb. Definitely not it. Oh, come on, where are you? You think it'd either be big or really small and somewhere obvious ish. But obviously not. I can hear you all going, it's there, it's there, it's there, and pointing at the screen, but I don't I don't see where there is. I really don't. Oh. I wonder I can see it blended in with the bloody door. The opera ghost's mask, but only half of it. I wonder why they're going with the half mask motif. Motif? Motif. Shop that sells nothing but teak furniture. I wonder, if, wonder why they're going with the half mask motif, because that's only. That's only a musical thing. Ooh. So the crypt then? Yep, time to head to the crypt. Goodbye, Opera House. It's hardly a betrayal, mate. Seriously. And it's not even her. It was Christine Junior's mum that betrayed you. I can't believe you still mistake the two. I can tell the difference. And I'm completely unobservant. I'm not kidding, I still get surprised by walls that have been there for ages and by stairs. I fall over so many times it's ridiculous. Oh, right, uh, let's just put these in. Obviously that's what they're there for. Oh, this place makes my Skin crawl. It makes my skin crawl too, Christine Junior. This place is really freaky. Is she trying to stab herself in the forehead? Look at some crazy ass wings. I tell you that. Oh, there's the gem. I'm not done here. You can shove off. Ah, this must be what these are for. Ceremonial candles must be lit. Mmm, fire. Uh, let's see. The light of a constellation, I've got to do that. Um, nope. Oh, it's like drafts. Okay. Nice sound effect. That was easy. I thought these challenges were supposed to get harder. What kind of, angel of music is waiting for you. What kind of ass backwards game is this? 
Good luck stabbing yourself in the forehead, lady. There really shouldn't be a splishing noise. We got rid of all the water. <laughs> Will that be the first thing the phantom says to us? Bathe, bathe yourself and then appear in front of me. Right, here we go. Final countdown. I think this is more behind that mirror. Uh. Oh, this was that thing that I got confused with the other thing. With the thing in the thing with the thing. Okay, so the matron equals pink, the courageous hero is blue, the foil of darkness in black, the heroine in white, and the passionate seductress in red. And the cast order is... So it goes black, blue, pink, red, white. Black. Blue, pink, red, white. Ah, it's you again. Are you ready to descend into my realm? Nope. Bring me another black rose. Let me take you there. But the game says I must. Oops, I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> My finger slipped, honestly! He's an Atomic Kitten fan, everybody! At least I think it was Atomic Kitten. There were too many girl bands back in those days. If anyone knows the correct name, or if I have indeed got it right, let me know in the comments. These musical symbols appear to be drunk. Musical symbols, you were drunk. Go home. find yourself embroiled in a love triangle this is what not to do unless the love triangle is fully reciprocal yeah, what's that last thing say I saw my father propose to my mother they were on the roof of the opera house under a beautiful starry sky how romantic little did they know the opera ghost was lurking nearby looking on in anger yet he seemed so heartbroken Well, that looks like the only way I've got to go. Just check the map once more. Yeah. Fantastic. I have to follow the madman. Through this very mirror, I taught you how to sing. She looks Why nothing you like Christine. Christine. Destiny brought us both here. Come with me. Wait, where are you taking me? I'm not who you think I am. Have you forgotten your angel of music already? I shall show you everything and make you remember. Welcome to my realm. Here, our lives will begin anew. This time, you will stay with me forever. The fuck is it? This can't be real. No, Christine Jr. 
Heartsick for his beloved, the Phantom attempted one last time to win back Christine. Yet fate is not without irony, if it was Evelina, ah, uh, that's her name, the daughter of the woman he loved and the man he swore to kill, who was spirited away by the opera ghost. For him this might prove to be the perfect revenge. By keeping Evelina he would have his love while causing those who betrayed him to suffer. Would Evelina be able to warm to the fragile and reckless heart of the Phantom and be free? Or would he become her angel of music forever? Okay, a very creepy game is ending on a really, really creepy note. We seriously betting on the outcome of whether or not this girl will submit to Stockholm Syndrome. And do Christine and Raoul just not care? We have not heard a single thing from them at all. Seriously. My god. This game is fucked up. Ugh. Creepy as all hell. Continue. Why not? The end. Thanks for playing. You can now access, extra access extras including the bonus quest from the title scene. Well, the bonus quest will have to wait for another day because... I think this makes a good episode in and of itself. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm Page of Maces, TTFN.